Which one is interesting? They sell individual corns here. Just so I can seal corn. Go to love Japan. Okay, so it is Friday. It is, I guess you can't really see that. It is a beautiful day out. Um, and I am going to go meet my professor for the first time, which is kind of cool. And then after that, um, I'm going to go knife shopping. I bought a cheap knife at the dollar store and it promptly decided to cut me on the not cutting edge. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and find a better knife, one that's going to last me for some time. And then after that, I'm going to make my way home where I'm going to attend a programming workshop uh, later in the evening. Made up to campus. Um, I guess those guys are gonna sneak peek at what like what it's like here. Um, I'm gonna make my way to the Faculty of Information Sciences building, and uh, we'll take it from there. with meeting Watanabe Sensei. Uh, I met a few people from the lab as well, some students, and everyone seems like they're pretty cool people. So I'm looking forward to starting this uh, April. Um, now I am just going to switch my priorities to find a SIM card for this phone because walking around without any internet, internet in a place you don't know is very inconvenient. I highly recommend you don't do it. <laughs> um, so we're going to take a little trip to in front of the station where they sell that kind of stuff and hopefully I'll be able to find one. Let's use my phone. store here in downtown in Sapporo. Um, check this out, it's wild. There's so much going on here, oh my god. Kitty and a penguin, or like a fox, corgi and a cat. Oh, that's so cute. It's a good bag. Just like that. Three hundred and twenty bucks for a bag. It's a lot of money for a bag. We got the car. Good thing I asked someone where it was because I never would have find it. Down there. 
pretty hidden, but whatever. We got it now. So we're kind of near where I was on Wednesday um, of my first week here when I was being guided by um, a Japanese student to help me with bank stuff and whatnot. Um, we kind of visited this little brick building that used to be the seat of government here in, in Sapporo. So uh, there's a park with it. We're going to take a little stroll. I guess we'll check it out. Um, it looks a little bit blue right now because it's in the fall, but apparently in the summer and in the spring it's very, very pretty. So here we go. Here in Japan, um, it's not so much pigeons that are the more populous birds in the city, it's actually crows. So you can see this gentleman is currently feeding a bunch of crows, which is kind of incredible. And there's even one on the bench. So on our way to the knife store, we're also going to be passing through Sapporo's Odori Park which is like a really long and really narrow park that kind of runs right through downtown. It's like a very central park, if you will. Um, we're going to take a look around because I've never been here before. And if there's anything cool to see, we will see it. So we're starting this at one end. Um, at this end is the uh, City Archives, which is like a really old building. It looks like it was built in the 1800s, probably because it was built in the 1800s. Um, and we're going to be going, I don't know if you can see it, all the way behind me. Hold on, right? That tower way in the back there? Well, that's a TV tower. You can go up inside of it, and that's where we're going. So hopefully they let us in. It's starting to rain now, so I don't know how this is going to turn out. But let's go check out this park. So you may be wondering, why is there statues of two white dudes in the middle of a park on an island in Japan? Well, most people think of Japan and they think of cities like Kyoto or Osaka or Tokyo, which are old and have a very rich history. However, Sapporo is not like those cities in that it was only founded in about 1860. Um, and a large reason why the city became what it is today was because during that time, Japan had opened itself up to the rest of the world um, in the Meiji Restoration period. Uh, and allowed a lot of foreign scholars, particularly American ones, um, into the country. And so, because of that, American uh, influential Americans played a large role in establishing the city. Um, Hokkaido Daigaku, the school that I attend right now, is also founded by an uh, American by the last name of Clark. I can't remember his first name, but I know it's Clark. Um, so you can see references here and there around the city. And so, it's kind of like a city that sprung up from the bridging between the east and the west and it's it's very unique in that sense it's kind of cool all right as you can see we've made it to the tower it's flipping huge um i'm gonna go see if i can get to the top of this thing i don't know if it's open for tourism right now because covid but we will see uh, hi uh, elevator. Oh, hi. hi. See, that's what I like right there. Big old free ticket. What's up? We've made it to the top. And it was absolutely breathtaking. Here, I'll give you a look. So check it out. You can see everything from up here. It's wild, dude. Like, this is insane. I think we're 100 meters up from the floor that we took off on, which was already like 70 meters off the ground. So we're pretty high up right now. See the whole park. And 
all that other stuff, the beautiful mountains in the distance. This really is something. So, that was Sapporo TV Tower. That includes our tour of Otori Park. And now, we make our way to the knife store to buy a fancy knife. Let's go. Right now my selection is between these two. I like the top one because it's light, but the handle feels a bit weird. Um, but the bottom one here actually has a bit more weight to it, um, and the handle feels like a little bit more of a normal handle to me, so I think I've settled on this one. Yeah, that basically concludes our video for today. I'm gonna head home and try out this knife for the first time. My phone's about to die, so I can't, I can't record anymore anyway. Um, thanks for coming along with me.